everybody. It's Diana from So In Common. Welcome to this episode of So In Common. So happy to see you all because this episode is one of our Good Gadgets episodes. And I know that we have not done a Good Gadgets episode in forever, right? It's been a really long time. But to be honest, I haven't had any gadgets that I've really felt like I wanted to bring you information on. But over the last month or so, I've actually been collecting a few new things. And so I thought today it's actually raining outside. It's super hot. I mean, everyone in the country in the US right now is basically hot or flooded. That's kind of the, the two weather extremes we've got going on. And so it's rainy, it's hot and humid. And I thought, Today is a good day to do a Good Gadgets episode. So thanks so much for joining us. Now, um, if you like this video or if you've liked any of my other videos, please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate all of my subscribers and we're well over 3000 subscribers now, which just fills me with joy. I can't believe it. So thank you all so much. I'd love for you to um, subscribe. If you haven't already, click on that little bell next to it so you get notified when I add new content as well. Plus, you can check out my um, website if you like, sewingcommon.com. I have some patterns over there. There's a few free patterns over there right now for some small projects. Um, I have started a blog, which I need to do a new blog entry on this week. It's been a couple of weeks. Had a lot going on. In fact, if you saw me right now, you'd see that I'm. there's another chair right here. My leg is propped up because I have a small uh, fracture in my foot, a stress fracture from running. And I'm sitting here with ice on it and it's all, it's actually well, pretty well into the healing process, but it's still given me a little bit of difficulty. So lots going on recently. But anyway, so I, I have a new um, blog post that I want to uh, put out. But today, like I said, is all about good gadgets. So as stitchers, I find that there are a lot of gadgets out there that have really kind of changed the way we do things because they have taken ideas and like enhanced them, made them better. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about today, two particular gadgets. And now I need to share my screen with you all because the very first one I want to show you, I need to take you, we're going to be going under the screen and all of that. So let's allow that. There we go. Okie dokie. Now I'm just going to close that for the moment. Alrighty. So what I want to do, the very first one I want to show you are these. Do you see these? What in the world are those? Well, now let's go under the screen and I will show you. Hang on. Let me get back to my main screen here for a second. There we go. I need to share first. Doing this by myself is it it's a little tricky. So I want to talk to you today about an item that comes from a company called Bucklebee. Um, and what I want us to talk about are these. They're called uh, Just Better Cleaning Brushes. Now, I know that there are other cleaning brushes out on the market, but I've been thinking a lot lately about... Um, I guess you could call it reducing my my footprint on this planet, not putting so much stuff in the garbage uh, dumps and things like that. And I like the idea of not having to constantly rebuy little brushes to clean out the bobbin case on my sewing machine. You know what I mean, right? And with these, these two little guys are made out of silicone. And so you can use them wash them and reuse them as often as you like. In fact, let's bring up this picture. Does your bobbin case look like this or does it look worse? Come on, you can be honest. We've all been there, right? Um, well, this is exactly what this brush does. It picks up all of this lint and everything. And again, it is from a company called Bucklebee. And here is their uh, website. And um, when we go back, I'll put that on the main screen as well. And I'll put it in the comment area or the description area for you as well. But you come down here and there they are. They're under their, um, 
I think Buckleby Tool and Pattern Shop. I think that's where I found them. But there's lots of great stuff in here. So that is for that. And now let's go under my camera because I want to show you my two brushes right here. So um, you get this straight one. It looks kind of like a little bottle brush. It actually kind of looks like a mascara brush. Some of these new kind of high-tech mascara brushes that allow you to like brush every single eyelash and stuff. This is what this reminds me of. In fact, I almost bet it is that same thing. I bet that is a mascara brush. And somebody said, you know what? That would clean out the bobbin case of my either my embroidery machine or of my sewing machine. And then this little one, uh, this might actually also be a kind of uh, mascara brush because I've seen some that has this little ball on the end, which I've never figured out how to use those. But this one really gets in there. And I like to put this one like down underneath the bobbin case in that open area and just wash it around and it will pick up like globs of stuff if there's stuff down in there. Um, but they're only, let's see, we can put them right here on my mat and see they're only about four inches long, each of them. Uh, yeah, they're only about four inches, maybe a tiny bit over four inches long. And so they're, they're plenty long for you to like dip down in there and move around and they're flexible. So you can really get in there with that one and this one as well. They're both really flexible. So, and they're inexpensive guys. I mean, these are just a few dollars. Now I know you could order these from the Buckleby company, which I just showed you their website or check with your local, um, quilt or fabric shop, they may have them as well. So the Just Better Brushes, that is our first new good gadget. So I give this one truly a five star because all I have to do is wash them off and um, dry them with a paper towel or a hand towel, put them back in my little baggie. I put them in the drawer next to my sewing machine and they're ready. Um, and you know what? I found that with these, I tend to clean out my a bobbin case a little more often because it's really quick and easy. So I don't have to let it get like that picture was looking um, that we just looked at a moment ago. Okay, so let's un uh, share there. There we go. And let me put up here the Buckleby website for you. There it is, um, www.buckleby.com. That slash index, I'm not sure that you need that there, but write it down just in case you do. Um, and then, um, like I said, also check with your local uh, fabric shops as well. Um, you know, support local and all of that. That's great. So buckle bee uh, bags. All righty. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is something that is the perfect item if you make handbags. So when we make handbags, what's one of the problems we have? pressing out our seams and our corners, right? It's really hard to get in there. Sometimes it's it's hard to get in there even with a small iron because they don't really fit up in there very well when we have to try and do it from the inside. Well, I bet a lot of you know Sally Tomato or Sarah Ber uh, Jessica Barrera. You see her picture right back there on the box. So Jessica in accordance with Dime or in co coordination with Dime, Designs and Machine Embroidery, has created the Sally Tomato Handbag Pressing Station. Guys, you're going to love it. Whether you make handbags from the patterns by the one and only Sarah Lawson or by Jessica Barrera at Sally Tomato or by, uh, by Annie, any bag pattern that you make where you need to press out a seam, get into a corner, this pressing station is something that you absolutely must have. And I'm going to show you the um, website where you can find it and all because there's um, there's kind of a secondary idea if you already own another pro product, but we're gonna we're gonna hold that for just a moment. So let's share again my uh, let's see do I need I don't yeah, I need to share my screen. And I need to take you back under my camera. So here we are under the camera and I want to show you part of. So this pressing station actually comes in two parts. You're, you're really 
almost getting two pressing stations. So I've got it laid on its side here. This is the post or the tower that holds a top and a bottom board. So you can flip them. So in this first one, you've got this long, narrow board. And these have like the sharp corners. So when you put stuff on there that are sharp, you can get your um, seams pressed really sharp. I'm going to show you some pictures here in a moment as well. And then there is another board. Now this board, let me see if I have a, yeah, let me get my ruler here because this board is one, two, is three inches wide. And then the board on the other side is an inch and a half wide. So you know what I love this for? If you like to do patches and stuff and put them on kids' shoes or even your shoes. Now, this is a really little one here, and it's not really made for patches because that's rubber. But um, you could put this on here and and actually um, press your patch, uh, fuse your patch on because your little shoe, and you can see the small baby shoe, even fits on this inch and a half board. So I love this for things like that. Or if you're ironing small children's items. So I think this is, is for far more than just handbags. And the thing I love about this is right here on the side, you just pull it and these come off the main post. So let me set that over there. And so each one of the boards that you get comes with this attachment piece that you have to add, but I'm gonna show you how truly easy it is to attach this in just a moment. So I'm gonna set that one aside because not only do you get those two boards in the Sally Tomato pressing station, you get these two boards as well. So these boards, I believe are, are they four inches? Let's just double check, yeah. They're four inches wide. And so this one has the squared off edge again, but here is the one that I believe is the real game changer for pressing out handbags. This one has that bull nosed or beveled edge around it. If you want to press a seam open, anything like that, this is the perfect board for that. Um, coming up with this idea that Jessica did for this bull nosed board was just amazing. And you actually get a second post so you can just slide your, let me, whoops, let me line mine up. So maybe I got it on the wrong side, it shouldn't matter. Here, I just need to, there, that's easier. Oh, I know why, I'm doing it in the wrong direction. So let me just say, when you're doing these, your clip will face inwards, I'll show you that in a minute, and then there is a little clip here, so you need to make sure and line those up when you're, um, putting them on. So there's your outer clip. Your other clip is, I know it's hard to see, but there it is on the post and you just lock them together. So that's half of this part of the pressing station. Let's set that over here and let's bring in, it's the same board with the um, a sharp edge or the, the straight edge on it. So when you get these, you get all four boards and they already have these little uh, holes in them for mounting your clip and you get these four clips and I wanted to show you how easy it is to put this together guys so here is my I'm, I turn mine this way because I'm left-handed but um, here's my clip that comes with it you get four of them one for each board they're the same for each board so you don't have to look for like a letter to match with a board or anything like that and then what I do is you get a couple of bags with these screws in them and you need four for each board and they're all there for you. You don't have to worry about finding screws. So I take one of them to start and I put it right in my back, the back hole here. And I use that, I hope you can see, to kind of put that screw in that first mounting hole to kind of get everything lined up for me. And then just take a screwdriver. Now, I will tell you, this is not part of the good gadgets that I'm talking about, but let's talk about Dremel tools for a moment. Folks, this little Dremel screwdriver 
has been an absolute godsend for me. I use it on everything. I'm able to put stuff up in my room on my own. I don't have to go out to the garage and get one of my husband's tools. Now, he did suggest that I buy this little extension bit. Um, that way it can get into um, longer areas. And I do love that. You can buy those separately. This, in fact, isn't a Dremel. It's a DeWalt bit. Um, but they fit right in there. Everything's magnetic. So, you know, I have to give that a good pull to get it back out. It's not going to just fall out on you. So um, this has a little cover right here. And that's where you attach the cord to um, charge it. I use this all the time and I don't think I've recharged this for over a year. This real, I mean, it really holds a charge. So, and this wasn't expensive, $29, $30. Ask Santa for Christmas. Perfect Christmas gift. So there, that's a third good gadget piece that I didn't mean to actually talk about. But now I just put my screwdriver in there and I'm just going to press. Whoops. I was a little overzealous there. Let me bring that back in. Very good. Now I'm going to take my next screw, line that up. There we go. Fits right down in there. And I'm just going to lift that one out. And so I literally put all of those, the other three boards together less than five minutes. I mean, it goes super quickly because you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to look for a letter here and a letter here. Any of these will fit any of the boards, so you just grab them and start attaching them. There we go. And there my last board is done, and now I can bring back in my other um, attachment piece, or my other board and my other attachment bar, and I can line these up. And now I have this pressing station and they're reversible and then i have the other press so both of these guys come in the set so i'm telling you if you are a bag maker oh my gosh you want this set because you get all of this right so that is just amazing to me and i'm telling you it is a whoops i didn't I didn't click mine and it fell off. Let me reattach it over here. There we go. Now it's clicked. And so I use them for pressing lots of stuff. That bull-nosed one, I actually use it for pressing open seams on quilts if I'm going to open a seam for some reason. You all know I don't do that often, but if I do. And the other thing you get with it from Jessica is these instructions, right? So there's one bag that's being done. And so not only does it show you all the pieces and exactly how to put it together, but it's literally just as easy as I showed you. Then Jessica goes on to give you little boxes with tips and show you that uh, what she's talking about in photographs as well, all these bags and things. So this kit is amazing. Now I'm going to take you to the website, um, dzgns.com. That's Dime's website where you can purchase this because you might already have another Dime product and go, gosh, I don't want to purchase a whole nother pressing station. So if you have Dime's, whoops, let me get that out of there, totally tubular pressing station, which is fantastic for just about everything. I press clothes on it. It even, you can even purchase wool press pads to go with it. Great or their totally tubular hooping station. Fantastic for hooping tubular things like t-shirts, baby onesies, um, tote bags, handbags, anything like that um, where you have a tubular item. And that's all of these are two-sided reversible. All of them, they get put in the same way. Anyway, if you have either of these products, you don't have to buy the whole Sally Tomato kit that I just showed you. You can buy just the pressing boards if you like, because the tubular hooping station is actually that first set of uh, that first hooping station or pressing station that I showed you that has the little uh, bar on it. That is Dimes totally tubular pressing station. So if you have this. All you really need to get is the Sally Tomato Handbag Pressing Station boards. That's the other two, the two that has the straight edge 
and the bullnose edge. And you will get the um, you will get these so that you can interchange them with this. Now, if you don't care about these two boards and you have the totally tubular hooping station, again, you can buy just the pressing station boards and interchange them with the um, hooping station posts as well because they will fit. But if you don't have any of these, grab yourself the whole Sally Tomato hooping station, um, handbag uh, pressing station. Um, you're going to love it. I, I promise you, you're going to love it. But I wanted to give you this extra detail because some of you may already have one of these other products. And that's the one thing I love about Dime. They really thought about this when they collaborated with Jessica Barrera on this product. They knew that these boards or created these boards so that you didn't have to buy a whole nother full station if you already had their pressing station. So I love that Dime is always thinking about their customers that way. I think that's great. Okay, so let's go back to my main screen and stop sharing. So those are the two good gadget products that I wanted to bring you today. And there was that extra one where I talked about the Dremel I have like the original little Dremel drill thing. I use it all the time too. I love the Dremel products. I should do a whole little good gadgets on Dremel, shouldn't I? Because they're it's so great, especially for those of us that are creative. Um, they come in handy for so many things. All right, everybody. So let me show you again. Here is the bucklebeebags.com um, website for those um just, uh, uh, what are they? Just perfect brushes, machine brushes that I showed you. And here is the website. Oh, now this one is for the Dime software. But if you go here, it'll take you to the same main page. Just go to um, shop.dzgns.com. Don't, don't do this other part. And that'll take you, um, you'll just look where it says tools, drop down, you'll see Sally Tomato, Totally Tooler, all of that. Uh, to find that page with the pressing stations. So I hope everybody that you've enjoyed this. Now, if you are, have already used these little brushes or you've already used, here are my little brushes. If you've already used the Just Perfect little brushes or if you've used a Dremel or if you've used the uh, pressing station or have the Sally Tomato pressing station, please let us know in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna know what you think about these products because I love them, but there might be things that you want to talk about with them and we could have a conversation, maybe clear up any misconceptions or maybe answer some questions, anything like that. I am more than happy to do that because you know I love when you all get together with me for um, our live events or for our pre-recorded videos. And, oh, I'm not even going to say. I have something special coming, but I'm not going to say. Um, I'm just not even going to tease it because it won't be ready for a couple more weeks. So anyway, there's something special coming. And um, I am going to be doing a couple new videos for uh, some Dime software here in the next week. So stay with us. Again, if you like this video or if you like any of the other videos, my how-to videos, um, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd be ever so thankful. And um, until next time, I'll tell you what I tell all of our um, folks at the end of my events. Oops, that's not that one. It's this one. Go so life beautiful. We are all creative people. We are all artists in our own way. And we make things and we put it out in the world and we truly make the world a beautiful place. So go do that. Go make life more beautiful. Okay. Until next time, guys, this is Diana from So Uncommon saying bye for now.